today we're going to show you how to do some small mile bass fishing in creeks and streams we're going to show you the setups we use how to target where they're hanging out usually and then we're going to hook up on some fish and then if you follow our steps we should be able to hook up on them too baby we got a sweet little stream here it's rocky clear water should hold some big fish we haven't fished before so we're going to be exploring it and hopefully we'll come up on some small mile bass yeah Jack, this is what you're missing out on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Saw this boy running up this little canal, sight casted to him, and got him. Ooh, got one too. Woo woo woo! Run with the ultralight okay, setup today. I uh, got two with me, but my favorite little combo is the Daiwa uh, rot or Daiwa reel with a Solara rod. I'll put down the description below, but it's super uh, flexible, so it gets a good fight, even with smaller fish. And it's really not all that expensive either. So check that out if you're looking for a good little creek setup. All right, when exploring new spots to fish, especially creeks, I like to use a lure that covers distance and just covers a lot of water so you can figure out where the fish are in the new creek and then you can target those holes specifically. So that's why we like using spinners, rooster tails, or anything else that you kind of just reel across and you can cover a lot of stream as opposed to finesse fishing. So you can, you know, first off, make sure there's fish there, and then you can start targeting the different holes. It just lets you cover a lot more ground faster. Usually it'll catch more fish. It's really good for uh, exploring new waters. Like we're saying, we're just using the rooster tails to explore the water, especially when fishing a new area covers ground. And we're finding some smallies, baby. Good thing about the rooster tail, pretty much any predatory species is going to go after this, so you'll catch creek chub, fall fish, bluegill, smallies if they're in here. So we're really good all around lure for creek fishing. Look at all these minnows. That's what I'm saying, there's so much bait in these creeks that, you know, bass can get huge, even in the shallow water. And that's why we're using the spinners. We're mimicking our lure to be what the bass will, you know, naturally be eating in here. And you can see it's almost a perfect match. And that's why we're getting these hit ups. Yo, baby. Now, the nice thing about these lures you can catch small fish too. I mean, small and big fish will go after it. So, here's a nice little smaller we just picked up. We're just targeting these shade lines. It's pretty hot out today. So, targeting the shade lines, bass will stand there because they have the, because uh, of the kind of difference in um, sunlight, it gives them a little advantage over the bait fish they target. That's where they're going to be holding. I've been seeing tons of minnows, which is another good indication to use a spinner because it kind of mimics a minnow with the flashes. Can't beat these creeks, smallies, baby. Doing a little smallmouth bass fishing in these creeks. Mm. On the Joe Fly ultralight setup, even these smaller ones, you know, put up a really good fight. <laughs> and, you know, smallies, you're going to find them in the deeper, faster moving water especially near like rocks and stuff. Find near rocks, especially clear water, clean water, that's what they like. There you go, little boy. He's going out. All right, so smallies, they're gonna like, you know, clean your water, faster moving, especially on rocks. So if you see rocks, like right around here. So you can see right where we're fishing at, there's rocks, and they love the rocks because, you know, it holds crayfish, one of their favorite bait. I think we might have a honey hole here. <laughs> you can tell, you got strong rapids, this goes into a deep pool. Hey, this ain't no honey hole, this is a gold pot. <laughs> gold pot, there should be some big ones here. <laughs> Alright, we got a nice one in the deep pool right here. Oh, he is nice. <laughs> Alright, we were fishing around this little deep channel here. And this guy just came out swiped it. Hey, check out this! Woohoo! 
there we go. We got a nice smallie here in the creek. You can't beat that, baby. On ultralight. Oh. Small bass fishing is you have to outpace your fishing partner. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just scooting on down nice and quick, and Uncle Lenny's in the dust. But I won't catch them all. I'll leave a couple for them. But yeah, make sure you're the first one to spot because usually the first cast is going to get a fish. And look what we have here. Looks like a nice little rapid going into a pool. There's got to be a smallmouth bass in here. And what I say, in this little pool, that's a nice smallie too. He just jumped about three feet out of the air. Come on, little guy. <laughs> Even the small ones, man, they put up a hell of a fight. Beautiful. Like I said right here, we had this rapid coming in the pool, first cast. So make sure you beat your fishing partner right here. See that little deep hole? Nice. We're just fishing this drop off right here. Ooh. I'm gonna get him on the water. Oh, it's, ooh, it's nice. Ooh, it's nice. Ooh, nice small. <laughs> Make sure the drag's that good. Jack! <sighs> dude, you missing out. Oh, oh. <laughs> Damn, Jack, you missing out, dude. <laughs> oh, we need to see how it Yeah, Jack, this is what you're missing out on. <laughs> oh, it's a bluegill. Well, right here, perfect small mile bass here. You got rocks, you got current, going to a deep pool with structure. We'll pick up some here for sure. So that's what you're looking for the, for the smallies. This is the perfect place. You got clean water. So just cast across the current, bring it in, and you'll see the smallies come out from behind the rocks and just strike it. There's a the smallie. Like I was saying, we're just fishing this rapid. Yeah, it had all the perfect ingredients, and there you go. There's a the smallie. Can't be smallmouth bass fishing these creeks and streams, especially with ultralight setup. You're gonna have a good day. Beautiful smallie. Let him go. Go. We're fishing this little rapid right here, and look what we found—a little smallie. Yeah. Like we said, we got rapids, we got rocks. That's what you're looking for. I and mean, you got those two. There's gonna be smallmouth bass here, and that's what you want to target when you're going for smallies in a creek, baby. Can't beat smallmouth bass fishing these creeks on a hot day because when it gets hot, you just hop on in, baby. Fish where you swim. <laughs> there you go. This is what you're looking for. You got rocks everywhere. You got current. You got deep pools. I mean, you find that in a creek and you're going to find smallmouth bass. And that's what we've been fishing and having success with. So look for that and just fish that. Focus your efforts there and you'll be good. Round two. Round two. We oh, got yeah. that feeder creek here. Going in that deep hole and we're snagging them all right out of that deep hole. Got the ball fish there. I'm gonna really just call it huge small. It's got another nice size small for this creek river. Like I was saying, I was fishing this little slack water right behind this little rock here. And look who was hidden. He was just sitting right in this slack water, waiting for anything to come down this rapid. Threw my Joe Fly upstream, brought it down with the rapid. He came out and smoked it. Go out until you catch small mile bass in creeks and streams and after today my lure got a little beat up. I think I might have to be retired, but that's all you gotta do to catch these small mile bass. You know, look for good areas with rocky, nice current, look for structure that mimic the natural bait in the area, and you'll have a good day, baby. Alright, we catch you next.